So what I have here is a Yamaha DXR8. This is an 8-inch two-way. We've talked about this in a few of our videos. Had an opportunity to actually run this in a situation. I was in a nightclub and playing the other night, and it's my first time being able to go and put these out somewhere where I could actually push them a little bit. Ran two tops with one of the DXS subs from Yamaha. And I've got the sub. We're going to look at that a little bit because I learned a few things while having that out in the field. And yeah, I'll, I'll want to show you a couple of things with that. But I ran one and the sub on one side and on the other side of the room where it was kind of a smaller spot, I just had the top. And I had that one actually turned way down because I really wanted to see what one top and one sub could do in this 200 person bar. I just really wanted to have those two and be able to push them and see if they could actually handle that bar very well if they had a lot of headroom or where they were at. So I want to show you what that looked like. Let's take a look at the video from the, uh, from the bar that night so you can see what it looked like. So that's what it looked like. We were doing 80s music at the time, which of course doesn't push system too terribly much, but it did a wonderful job for, throughout the night. There are a couple of nuances though. I want to show you some of the settings on the back of the sub. There was one that I had set, I thought would be perfect for the whole night. Turns out as I got into the night a little bit farther, I had to adjust that. Let's take a look at that setting right now. Here we are looking at the back of the DXS12 sub. What I wanted to talk about, a couple of configurations I had to adjust. When I first started the night out, I wanted to push a little bit more bass, so I clicked the bass up to the boost. You can see that it's boost off or extend the low frequencies which will actually take it to a, a, a lower frequency. You can see that we were going to give kind of an EQ bump here and this will actually take us down and help us deliver some of those low 40 and 50, fre 50 hertz frequencies. Didn't want that. I wanted the boost. I wanted to get a little bit more bass out of it. So I started the night out with that. When I was playing my early evening 80s and some early 90s music, some rock and roll, oh my goodness, that sounded great. As soon as I went into dance music, definitely didn't like that. I had way too much bass for the uh, for the system. So I ended up having to go back, go back to that. Another thing I ended up doing later in the evening is I can see this. We've got our level. I ended up taking the level back just a little bit. Wasn't a lot, but I wanted to just take a little bit of level back here instead of taking it back at the board. Because the board, I actually had it set up so with the three band EQ, I had it flat and I wanted to give that kind of a flat or even a bumped up bass signal out of the board because I was going into the other top, I was going to that full range where this one I was going in and of course we were splitting it off where we had low frequencies here and we were having the high frequencies going to the cabinet that you saw in the video right above this. So that is a couple of the adjustments I made for the show on the DXS12. My thoughts. I'm a microphone person. I really like to have a hot mic when I'm talking. I mean, I like to have the microphone volume here when the music is here. I want to make sure that my mic comes through somewhat like the voice of, of you know, from above. So I was really, really happy with how the DXR sounded with the microphone. Then my mic came through. My vocals were very, very clear from the voice on my mic because I'm running a Shure microphone. It, it sounded fantastic. Much happier with that than I have been with some other speakers uh, that, that we've looked at where the music kind of blends and your voice kind of blends with that and you just don't have that a little extra, that little extra headroom that you need. So very happy if you're doing a lot of microphone work, I think you'll be very, very happy because you sound natural and you are there and you can get very, very loud. I actually didn't have my microphone all the way up. I had a lot more to go. Secondly, is that the sound. I had a dance floor full of people uh, in front of it, which in a smaller bar is about 40 people. They were dancing, having a great time. The sound was carrying around the room very, very well, and it actually was knocking some things off the ceiling because we had that much bass, which was really kind of cool because, well, I've been in there with other sound systems in the last uh, two years. I haven't knocked things off the ceiling before. So that was kind of interesting to hear how the DXS12 sub was able to give us that kind of punch to be able to give you that chest, uh, chest pounding bass, which <laughs> knocked some things off the ceiling. So overall, I was very impressed. Um, the sub though, as I mentioned, is a 12 inch sub. There's some limitations with 12 inch subs compared to 18 inch subs. 18 can just push a little bit more air than a 12, so you're going to have the ability a little bit louder with an 18 than you can with a 12. For most events, weddings under 300 people, I would really think that a pair of the DXS 12 subs and the DXR8 tops would work wonderfully. It would give you your microphone so you'd be able to talk very well and people would be able to hear everything, all your announcements and things. It would give you the dance floor that would be thumping along. 
and I think it'd be a great little system. One of the things I really liked about it is I was able to take the subs, this, my mixer, and a few other things, everything was on one cart. I have a four-wheeler cart. If you've seen the rock and roller carts, that's what I had. Everything on a rock and roller, one trip in, one trip out. Everything fit on there, fit snugly. It was very, very nice. And I've missed that. I haven't had that for quite a while with some of the speaker systems I've been running. So check these out. I'll have some links in the description below. But again, this is Yamaha DXR8. And we ran it in conjunction with the DXS12 sub, which I've got right down there. So this is John Young with the Disc Jockey News.